Hello from Conjointly, and welcome to the Brand Price Trade-Off, or BPTO, tutorial. BPTO is configured for users to understand pricing opportunities for a new proposition. The methodology borrows from the ideas and algorithms of conjoint analysis and GABA grandeur. It is a choice-based technique that reflects consumers' differing preferences for SKUs or brands, as well as budget and psychological pricing constraints. Specifically, it helps to answer the following research questions. 1. How will revenue profitability and volume perform with launching a new product at a specific price point in a competitive category? 2. How will revenue profitability and volume perform at different price points? 3. Where will the MPD source volume from? From your brand's other products or from the competition? And 4. What is the effect of awareness in advertising on the adoption of the concept? This video includes three sections, Setup, Survey Flow, and Outputs. Section 1, Setup. These are the steps to set up your BBTO study. Step 1, name your experiment, then specify and describe the category. In this example, we are testing fruit-flavored soft drink cans. Step 2, if your SKUs and prices are ready in the suggested table format, you can import them by copying and pasting them from Excel, which will automatically fill in the information for you. If not, you can skip this step. Step 3. List all the SKUs for the test, including your current competitor SKUs, your current SKUs, and your NPD SKUs. You will need at least four current SKUs in the test, and should consider including SKUs that cover at least 80% of the market by volume. You may also want to include highly salient SKUs, such as emerging brands that you want to compete against, but no more than 20 to optimize sample size. To insert visual stimuli, drag and drop images into the pop-up window. Alternatively, you can copy them from the buffer or upload from your computer files. You can arrange SKUs on the setup page into appropriate categories by selecting the Move Tool icon to drag them around. Step 4. When testing NPDs, you can optionally show an ad set to bring your proposition to life. This can be either a picture board or a video that showcases the product's benefits and reasons to believe. Step 5. List all prices by clicking the Add Price button to add more price levels. Specify the text of the price the change of the respondents will see and the numerical values of the price for the model. Price points should be on a consistent scale. For example, dollars per gram should not be mixed with pounds per liter. All SKUs require a minimum of three price points, though we recommend providing five for MPDs to help ensure the optimal price is within the tested range. Allocate prices to specific SKUs and optionally review the price map. This view will help you check the distribution of prices. Please note that the greater the number of SKUs and price points you test, the larger the required sample size. Your recommended sample size will be calculated automatically. Step 6. Choose respondents using one of the three methods that will depend on your targeting requirements. If your sample is quite specific, we recommend using predefined panels. Step 7. Save your experiment and prepare for launch. Section 2. Survey Flow BPTO's survey flow consists of four separate exercises. They are designed to introduce both our existing SKUs and competitor SKUs before introducing our MPDs. Firstly, a conjoint exercise presents various brands alongside the current offering. Secondly, another conjoint exercise presents various brands alongside the NPD before ADCEPs. The new proposition is added to existing SKUs. Thirdly, the NPD is introduced through ADCEPs. Then, a final conjoint exercise presents various brands along with the NPD after ADCEPs. This can be followed by additional questions, such as the Van Westen Dorp price sensitivity meter and other diagnostic questions. Section 3. Outputs Once complete, the BPTO study produces several outputs, including volume share simulations, movement of volume share, acceptable price ranges, price elasticity, and revenue or profit index. We ran an example study for a new range of conjointly soft drinks, which produced the following outputs. NPD volume share simulation helps us estimate how volume share changes before or after the NPD ad set is shown. Our example shows that NPD lemon has the highest adoption rate. 
The movements in volume share output shows how current SKUs increase or decrease in volume share after an NPD is introduced. Our example shows that each NPD's market share sources different proportions from our competitors. The price elasticity output shows the specific coefficient of price elasticity of demand calculated for each of our NPDs using our simulation chart. This helps us to understand how market volume will perform at the different price points we use to test our NPDs. Our example shows that demand is elastic for our conjointly kiwi flavor and that revenue does not vary greatly, regardless of price point. Through simulation, we can learn how our NPD's revenue and profitability will perform at different price points, generating the revenue or profits index output. Revenue projections are displayed in the simulation chart by default. This can be switched to profitability. Custom formulas for calculating revenue and profitability can be used by inputting them in the volume projections pop-up. Our example study shows that for conjointly lemon, revenue does not vary greatly, regardless of price point, and that demand is elastic. Van Westendorp results show us a psychologically acceptable range of prices for our NPDs and can validate the recommended price produced by the main conjoint exercise. Raw data is available as an Excel output, which includes confidence intervals where possible and report segmentations based on respondent characteristics. Thanks for watching the Conjointly BPTO video. If you have any questions about the methodology, please feel free to contact us at support at conjointly.com.